Let's turn our attention to college football now for a couple of minutes. You knew him at Hamilton High School where he tore it up. Quarterback Tyler Shuck, he left Hamilton early. No problems with that whatsoever because he wanted to get on the fast track at Oregon for new head football coach Mario Cristobal and Tyler back in the Valley for the National Football Foundation Awards Banquet on Saturday night. He's nice enough to Skype on in with us before you head back up to Eugene, Oregon. How has this all worked out for you so far? Three months ago when we last spoke, you're just leaving Hamilton. You're already on campus at Oregon. You're going through spring ball. You're going through classes. Tell me about the transformation from high school life to college life, Tyler. Uh, you know, it's definitely different, but I feel like I've learned a lot from it. Um, you, meet, you meet a whole new lot of people. I've been learning a lot as far as the playbook wise. Uh, my teammates, you kind of get into a new culture, new environments. Everything's just kind of getting your feet wet. It's brand new, but I think I've been doing pretty well. Uh, I mean, obviously, I finished my first term now. I'm back home for spring break, so it's good to be home back in the sun. But you know, I'm, I'm really loving up there, really loving it up there so far. What can you tell the, the common high school quarterback and parents about the speed of the game and the difference in the speed of the game from when you were on the field at Hamilton, even to last November, to where you are now at a Pac-12 program? Right. You know, I mean, I mean, the best game that you all ever play or the best competition you'll go against in the high school level, it's, I mean, it's that and even more. You're, all, you're always on the spot. You're always competing for a job. Even if you're just eating dinner um, with your teammates, you're always kind of being evaluated. When you're out there on the field, it's, you know, it's a lot faster. You know, all, everyone around you is good. You know, you know you're good yourself and you can play with them. But you have to show it every day. You have to compete. You have to prove to your coaches that you're valuable of their, you know, their scholarship that they gave you. So it's definitely a, a strenuous process. But you know, if you love the game of football, if you love competing, it's really not that much of a job. You just get to go out there and do it every day. When I talk to the quarterbacks at the high school level, and even those that have gone on to college and even pro, the ones that left school early in the middle of their senior year, I have yet to run across one that regrets the decision. They'll come back right. and go to prom. They will walk with their classmates. Are you in the same boat? Of, are you missing anything of the high school experience and, and along those lines? No, not at all. I'm actually really glad. You know, you come back for break and you kind of talk with people and, you know, they really don't change much and you just kind of, you just get this whole new environment. I, I mean, I did it to better myself. And, you know, most people, seniors already have senioritis when they leave. And once I had the opportunity to, to graduate early and go, you know, pursue, I guess, my dream of being at Oregon, you know, it was the best decision, the best decision I made. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot to go, but, you know, hopefully, I mean, I'm going to go walk with my uh, my classmates soon in, uh, in May and June. I don't know if I'm going to go to prom yet, but if I have time, but I'm definitely glad I made the decision. Before I get you out of here, the other night we ran across each other, the National Football Foundation Awards dinner. That experience, mm -hmm. you're up on stage, your black tie. Tell me about that night and what it meant for you in your career. Uh, it was a true honor, you know, just I always, you know, I saw that previously of my teammates and guys who I look up to go to that event and it looked super nice and it was a great venue and being able to go to that and share it with some of my teammates, Timmy Lockhart and Shea Zucci, it was just, it was an incredible evening just to see other, you know, great players in Arizona and a fantastic event that they set up and I was really glad that you're there to handle it because you did a great job as well. Wow. So it was overall. Wow. You're sucking up to the host. I mean, come on. That's, <laughs> that's nice. No, well, it takes a lot. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding you as I like to do with you. Um, it looks as though everything is going well for you. Um, if you do find a date for prom, maybe we'll see you back down here. If not, we'll see you next season. Appreciate the time as always. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Brad.